Hi everybody, this is Diane. Look at all this yumminess right here. I have six glue books practically done. Just a couple final touches that we're going to do in this final video of the uh, start to finish series on how to make the glue books. And then the next video will be a flip through of them and they will be in my shop. But before we get into these, I want to share with you a little happy mail that I got yesterday from Julie in New Hampshire. Um, she saw my video, I guess, showing, yes, she did, saw my video showing uh, some of the themed collections that I was gathering to make journals with, and so she wanted to send me some things that went with those themes, a couple of those themes. So she asked for my new address. She had sent me something before. She had sent me a happy mail before. And look what she sent me. These are bridge tally cards with the gorgeous shoe and it has peacock feathers on it. Love the color of that shoe. I would not wear those shoes. Look at that heel. But they are really cool. I can't wait to put them in my the shoe journals that I want to make. And then the other thing that she had for one of my themes was this paper that looks like airmail envelopes. It's quite sturdy. It's not very flimsy. And there's a whole pad of these papers. Some of them were used, but she gave me what's left. And I just think it's really cool. And I love those papers. So thank you so much, Julie. But she also sent me some other things, too. I didn't open this up, but these are two little uh, note card packs, and they're embossed. Carol's Rose Garden, Carol Wilson Fine Arts, it says. Oh, I thought they were note cards. It's note paper. They're sticky notes. How cool. But can, they're very deeply embossed. You can probably see that. So I won't open this one. It's not a note card. There's a birdhouse on that, and then the corners are embossed. Shabby Chic. That will go in my Shabby Chic books. Then she sent me some vintage things. This is TM Towns, dealer in all kinds of coal. This says stove, egg, nut, Franklin, and Coke. Must be different types of coal. This one has the carbon on the back. And then there's the pink. So those are cool. I love... <coughs> oh, sorry. I love things like this. Then we have this vintage note paper, stationary paper. It says, Love Never Fails. I can tell it's vintage because it looks a little faded and um, the edges are starting to just look older and it looks like it was perforated at the top so it was attached to a tablet but there's quite a few sheets of that there and it's lovely and she sent me these these came out of a recipe binder it has different um, categories of recipes and this says we are pleased to confirm your reservation at the park view a Victorian Revival Country Inn, where everything old is new again, in Sharon Springs, New York. So you would, they would have written the date that you were coming, the date you were leaving, how many people, the number of nights. So you know that this is vintage because it's all online now. This is really cool. So she sent me three of those sheets. So thank you very, very much, Julie. I love all of it, and it will all be used in upcoming journals. I really appreciate it. Now, I wanted to talk about a couple more types of pages that I added into these in my video showing the pages that I used. I had forgotten to add some things. I don't have all my stuff where I'm used to having it, you know. I'm still trying to set up my craft room, so I forgot about my calendars, but I um, 
And this is a sturdy cardstock calendar that you were supposed to decorate yourself with stamps and stuff, but I never did it. So that's a nice sturdy cover. And I also put in map pages. I don't remember if I had that in there previously. But another thing that I forgot about was envelopes or bags or something like that. So there's a large sack that I put in this one. And I just put some plain cardstock in there so that you can glue stuff all over that. Or you can take that out <coughs> and put what you want in there. And then on the other side, I just cut the top off and... I didn't mean to cut both sides of that. I only wanted the front cut, but I forgot what I was doing and cut both sides, but you can put this in and I'll do that later. So I just wanted to show you. Oh, and I also, in a different signature, put in this large manila envelope and just put a couple pieces of cardstock in there. And on the other side, Again, I just cut the top off and then cut a half circle out. Uh, so a couple of some of the journals got those things. The first two that I sewed together didn't because I had already sewn them together, and that was this one and uh, might have been this one, the Smashbook one, but I don't remember. But they all have cool pages in them. So what I need to do now is just do the final final touches on these get my pieces out from under. Alright, now on this one I wanted to put the corners on so I did that. I just put some metal book corners on and I just want to put get those out of the way the book plate on it. And I found one that I wanted to use because if Barry picks this one, I haven't heard from him whether he wants this one or not. He said he likes magical creatures. So I thought of this one. It's a Dinotopia book plate. And I thought that was cool. I thought he would like that. So I'm going to put this on there. Somebody sent me some book plates. This is one of them that they sent me. It is adhesive, but I am going to glue it. Just to make sure it doesn't, it doesn't want to peel off. Glue's all clogged up. I hope everyone is staying well. Um, my son and granddaughter have the flu. It's not the coronavirus, but they have the flu. that and I think this book is now done. I'll just put the little stamped circle on the back that I always put with my name on it, my signature. I'm not going to put anything on the spine of this one. So there's that one. Um, and I will, I'll take um, some fabric or something and tie around these because when they start getting filled up and they get full and puffy I'll just I'll have something on there that you can tie. This one I do want to add something to the spine just because I want to. Just because I want to just jazz it up a little bit. The other one, this one has all these flowers and I didn't want to cover that up. The leaf and the stem that I so carefully uh, fussy cut. <laughs> to put on there. I'm um, fussy cut the fabric. I didn't fussy cut around the designs, but I talked about that in the video where I was adding that fabric, about what fussy cutting fabric means. 
But this one is just the same pattern all over, so I, I just want to add a little something to jazz it up. This journal has been spoken for. This is the only one that I know that someone wants it. One of the people that reserved a journal said she likes this one. And uh, I haven't heard from Barry yet, and I haven't heard from the third person about which journal cover they want. Hopefully I will, because after I do the video, you know, and, and when that video is going to go live of the flip through, I want to get them in my shop. So I'll just pick one if I haven't heard from the people. I'm just going to pick one for them. And then the others will be for whoever wants them. So there's this, and let's pick out a book plate for here. I have a variety that I pulled out of my labels drawer. Some of these are Mrs. Cog's images. I like this one. It has a peacock on it. The peacock's complaint. The peacock considered it wrong that he had not the nightingale song, so Juno he went. Oh, so to Juno he went. She replied, be content with thy having and hold thy fool's tongue. Be content with thy having and hold thy fool's tongue. Do not quarrel with nature. Look at that gorgeous tail the peacock has. And he's complaining because he can't sing like the nightingale. We all can take a lesson from that. I think I'm going to put that on just because I like the colors of that there. I would have to change that to do not quarrel with God. God is our maker, and if we complain about how we were made, we're telling God we don't like what he did. And so now that one's done. Here's my favorite. Now this one, I would have covered the spine anyway just because it's plain polka dot. And some of the polka dots will show, but some of the stitches are crooked. Like I didn't poke my holes straight. So that stitch and that stitch kind of have to go down to meet the hole. So I don't like it when that happens. So I prepared this lace. I already... It came on a spool like this, and I already threaded some ribbon through it. I always look for the center so I can lay it down like that with the center open. And that will just add a really pretty touch to this journal. I have two bottles of three-in-one that are almost empty. I just need to get them finished. I put uh, glue underneath that ribbon just to hold those two pieces together. This glue is too expensive to waste any of it. need to make a trip to my craft stores. Hopefully next week I'll be able to. It's like I said, I haven't been there since probably November. And all I really need to buy is adhesive. flat like that is sometimes it's hard to see that you're centering it there I was off center okay
I like that one. This was cut from scrapbook paper. Yeah, we'll go with this one. This one, I added some fabric and yo-yos to the front. And I do want to add some lip color trim to the spine. Quite windy here today. You can hear the wind blowing. But the sun is shining. It was raining this morning. I think it rained overnight. Again, I'm putting it off center. If you don't like these pictures on the fronts, of course you can collage over them. I don't really care for that picture. This is a holidays and customs, so this must be from a Halloween story. And I don't really want Santa Claus on my book, but so I would collage on the back here. That little bunny peeking out is kind of cute, though. I love this paper. I think I'll just use one of these plain gold ones so I don't detract from that pretty chevron, patchwork chevron. Isn't that pretty? This one, I don't want to add anything to the spine because of the interesting patchwork look to it. I did add this soft trim to it and I it kind of wavered when I glued it on so it's not straight. I apologize for that. And I think I like the color of that here. I could use this one. No, I like this one. This is another book plate that someone sent me. This one has a pocket in the back, a little library pocket, because this had been used for the previous journal. So I'll put something in that pocket. Otherwise, that one's done. And lastly, we have this one again. This one has the patchwork, so I'm going to leave that. But I, I wanted to cover these parts up, so I cut from 
some more of this patchwork fabric, I cut some pieces. So I'm going to glue that right there. I decided not to do anything with the embossed front of this. That's something the owner can play with. Now in the original K and Company Smash Books, which is what this is, this pen loop held a a pen that also had a glue stick at one end, which was really handy. I wonder if we could just put a glue stick in here because it's a glue book. I think you're going to use a glue more than you would a pen. Well, it might be a little hard to get it in. I think it'll fit might be more work than you want it to be to actually get it in there. I'm not going to fuss with it right now. And on that side, I just cut this piece out. And since it is so plain, the back the back isn't embossed, I would find some really cool images to glue on there as one of my glue book projects for this book. That's a book plate. It's not a printable. It was from that batch of book plates that somebody sent me. It says my book and it has um, Canadian Mountie, a ship, looks like Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer. There's a train, a cowboy, astronaut, baseball player, and a knight. And down here there are there's a wagon train and some Indians. So this represents a world of children's books. Alright. That does it. The next video of these journals will be the flip through and then they will be in the shop so I hope you've enjoyed this series and I hope you'll come back for the next journal series which I think I know what I'm going to do and I think you're gonna like it so come back to see what it is thanks for watching bye